In this video, um, I'll show you the general procedure on how to solve a linear inhomogeneous ODE. And I'll do that by showing you how to solve this particular ODE. Uh, x double dot minus 3x dot minus 4x equals 3 times e to the 2t with the initial conditions x of 0 equals 1 and x dot of 0 equals 0. In this case, the right-hand side is an exponential function, so the, the, the solution I find will depend on that. And then in later videos, I'll show you how to find the solution when it's a sine or a cosine or a polynomial. So there's three stages to finding the solution of a linear inhomogeneous equation. The first stage is to find the homogeneous solution. So find homogeneous solution, or find the solution of the homogeneous ODE. So we consider x double dot minus 3x dot minus 4x equals 0, and we find the general solution of that differential equation. We do our usual ansatz, x equals e to the rt. We get the characteristic equation r squared minus 3 mi minus 3r minus 4 equals 0, which is uh, factorable. 4 is uh, 4 times 1. So it becomes r minus 4, r plus 1 equals 0. So we have two roots, 4 and minus 1. And then we write down the uh, general solution to the homogeneous equation. So we write that as x sub h for homogeneous solution is a constant times e to the 4t r1 equals 4, plus another constant times e to the minus 1t minus t. So that's the solution of the homogeneous equation. So when we substitute xh into the left-hand side, we will get 0. Okay. The second part of the solution method is to find a particular solution to the inhomogeneous ODE. Okay, so a particular solution is any solution that satisfies the differential equation. Okay, um, we can then add the homogeneous solution to the particular solution, and that general solution will satisfy the differential equation. That will be step three. So step two is to find the particular solution. Um, the right-hand side is e to the 2t. You need to check that e to the 2t is not a solution of the homogeneous equation. Otherwise, uh, this method, uh, otherwise you may run into trouble. And we'll see how to deal with that later. It's not. So we're looking for an ansatz for the particular solution such that we can convert the differential equation to an algebraic equation because the derivative of e to the 2t is, a const is 2 times e to the 2t. You keep getting e to the 2t back. We can try an ansatz of the form x equals some unknown constant times e to the 2t. Okay? And uh, we'll substitute that into the ODE and try to determine A. So the second derivative of x will give us 4a. We'll bring down two twos, so it'll give us 4a times e to the 2t. But we know that the e to the 2t will cancel out of each term of, term of this equation, so we will just not write it. So x double dot will give us a 4a minus a 3 times x dot will give us a minus 6a minus a 4 times x will give us a minus 4a 
and that's equal to the right hand side which is 3 and we cancel the e to the t, 2t throughout the equation. Uh, so that allows us to solve for a so we get 4a minus 4a cancels so minus 6a equals 3 so a is equal to minus one half okay that means we've determined the particular solution so then the third step is to write x of t uh, here in the previous step right we've got the particular solution is minus one half e to the two t right so the third step is to write x of t equals the homogeneous solution plus the particular solution okay now if we substitute x of t into the differential equation because the differential equation is linear in x it will become a differential equation for xh plus a differential equation for xp the differential equation for xh will be zero because xh solves the homogeneous equation the differential equation for xp will give us three times e to the 2t because xp is a particular solution so x of t will satisfy the differential equation now x of t has uh, two free constants c1 times e to the 4t plus c2 is the second free constant which multiplies e to the minus t plus xp which is minus one half e to the 2t so we have two free constants here which can be used to satisfy the initial conditions the initial condition is on x of zero and x dot so it's useful here if we solve for x dot x dot of t equals 4c1 e to the 4t minus c2 e to the minus t and then bring down a 2 minus e to the 2t okay so these are our two uh, x and x dot we have the initial conditions that I specified before x of 0 equals 1 x dot of 0 equals 0 when we apply those two initial conditions uh, we can uh, find x of t so those two initial conditions x of 0 equals 1 means that 1 is equal to uh, c1 times 1 plus c2 times 1 minus one half the uh, second initial condition x dot of zero equals zero so that zero is equal to four c one minus c two minus one okay those are our two equations for c one and c two we can make it a little bit neater so uh, neaten up a bit so c1 plus c2 equals 1 plus a half equals 3 halves and 4c1 minus c2 equals bring the one on the other side 1 okay two equations and two unknowns <coughs> easy to solve you add them the c2 cancels you have 5 c1 equals 3 halves plus 1 which is 5 halves 5 c1 equals 5 halves so c1 equals a half and then c2 from the first equation c2 equals 3 halves minus c1 3 halves minus a half is 1 c2 equals 1 so that our final solution for x given here where we substitute in c1 and c2 so x of t 
is equal to uh, one half e to the four t here plus e to the minus t minus one half e to the two t and if you want to write it neatly the uh, e to the four t is the dominant exponential term grows much faster than e to the two t e to the minus t decays we can factor out the dominant term one half e to the four t and write this as one and then the next term will be minus one half e to the two t so we factored out a one half e to the four t so that will be minus e to the minus two t and then the last term is e to the minus t since we factor out a one half it will be plus two and then to get minus t this must be e to the minus five t so this is a nice way to write the solution where you see the asymptotics as t goes to infinity is one half e to the four t the e to the minus five t term drops off first and then the e to the minus two t term second